but the belt she is wearing in the photo. What? Alright, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Biggie back with another video. If this your first time coming to your boy channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. And hit that little notification bell so y'all can know when your boy posts another video, you know what I'm saying? Comment below if you want me to uh, react to any other kind of videos, you know what I'm saying? Forget to like the video, you know what I'm saying? If you enjoy what you're watching, let's get into it, man. The video I got for y'all today is the creepiest videos on the internet. I'm talking about, bro, the internet so broad, I can only imagine what type of stuff they got going on. But I'm pretty sure most of these probably will come off TikTok because TikTok be on that weird shit. I'm really fucking with these kind of videos, bro. I think they go on. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. I mean, let's get into it, bro. Mx recently, as well as Nipsey Hussle back in 2019, and intuitively I feel like the more we lose the old heads, the more the substance of the rap game will fade away. These artists and many, many, many I'll others be watching, have been in the happening to DMX recently, as well as Nipsey yeah. Hussle back in 2019, yeah. and intuitively I feel like the more we lose the old heads, the more the substance of the rap game will fade away. These artists and many, many, many others have been in the rap game for many years. Yeah. Therefore, knowing the ins and outs of how the industry works. Yeah. Busta Rhymes just came out with a whole song about how the whole industry is satanic. So the more we lose old heads like Nipsey and DMX, the more the youth will be controlled. Look at the role models that the youth is looking up to now. Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. For the masculine side, we got Future and Young Thug and whoever else. There is an agenda directly targeted at the youth. And you telling me the artists that I just named are going to be legends to the youth one day? Just imagine how that would go. And I'm not saying this like they're bad people or like I don't listen to Future sometimes. But for real, y'all, just look at who the role models are of today's time. But really just pinpoint on how the youth will be in a couple years. Wake up, it's not just about you, it's about the future. Well, nah. Did the U.S. government basically That's confirm that do. aliens are real? Between 2015 to 2019, there have been a number of UFO sightings. The Defense Department has confirmed that the leaked photos and the videos of unidentified aerial phenomena taken in 2019 are indeed uh -huh. legitimate. Photos uh -huh. and videos of triangle-shaped objects blinking and moving through the clouds were taken by Navy personnel. Many people believe that the government is telling us now because they expect something from outside Earth such as aliens, to begin communicating with us. Mm. And considering that they just released three of the videos out of probably thousands, means that there is more information which is going to come out of this story. The Defense mm. Department has said that they will not be releasing any more information until June, for safety reasons. I, I guess we can expect aliens, aliens in June. Real, what I'm about to show you is said to be- I believe there's aliens out there for real, bro. Like, it's, it's something, bro. Like, I know we're not the only ones in the universe, bro. And if any of y'all believe that we're the only ones in the universe, bro, y'all is ignorant. Because, they're, cause, bro, it, the universe is too large for us to be the only ones, bro. For us to be the only thing alive out here, bro. It's definitely extraterrestrial life out there, bro. Like, they probably looking at us like we aliens, you know what I'm saying? They probably think they're the only ones that's in the universe, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's definitely other life out there, bro. It's definitely other life out there. And some of them done took a look little trip to our planet you know what i'm saying definitely be one of the most haunted pieces of art in the world this is bill stoneham's piece the hands resist him in 1974 mm. this man charles feingarten showed the piece at one of his art galleries and that's where actor john marley purchased it if you don't already know john is famous for his role in the godfather right. and in the same year an art critic by the name of henry mm. seldes posted a review of the painting in the los angeles times and within a span of six years all three of these men would be dead before what? Marley's death, he actually sold the painting, but it was abandoned behind a California brewery. That's when, in the year 2000, the piece resurfaced on eBay with a terrifying story attached. Mm. The new owner's four-year-old daughter was afraid of the piece because she claimed the little boy would crawl out of the canvas at night. So the piece was eventually sold to a woman named Kim Smith who owns an art gallery in my hometown of Grand Rapids, Michigan. But she refuses to display the painting after receiving too many complaints from customers. 
My two-year-old daughter was playing with her toy kitchen and sautéing a plastic baby in a pan. I told her we don't cook babies and she said, it's just to take the skin off. Free birth control for all of y'all. <laughs> she was playing with her dolls and she ripped one of their heads off and put it in a box. I asked her why she was doing that and she replied, practicing. Pra practicing? Pra little girl, you don't get you. <laughs> I'm alone with my four-year-old daughter when she began staring out of a dark window and said, She's here. Whoa! You gotta go. You gotta go. You going to the retirement home. <laughs> Not retirement home. I mean, the uh, orphanage. You gotta go. <laughs> you, you got to go. I'm sorry. I love you, but you gotta go. You gotta go. Or death. Chris Kremers and Lazanne Froon took the selfie while on a hike in Panama, from which they never returned. Oh. They were supposed to go for a hike in the jungle with a tour guide, but for some reason, the girls decided to go by themselves a day early. Stupid. They never returned from the hike. A backpack containing their clothes, a passport, their cell phones, and a camera was recovered several weeks after they disappeared. Huh. The camera contained 90 disturbing shots taken in the middle of the night. Most of them were just black. There was also a photo of one of the back of the girl's head with what appeared to be blood. Even more disturbing, the girl's cell phones showed that they tried to call emergency services for 11 days before their phone died. Yeah. Some of their bones were eventually discovered in the jungle, but nobody knows what happened. What? Two engineers were performing maintenance on a wind turbine when it caught fire. Their only escape route became blocked. One worker jumped off the turbine while the other burned to death. They both died. Sydney Louvre posted the snap before being strangled on a Tinder date. Yeah, I probably would have jumped off before I got burnt to death. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's helped millions I'm sorry. If I had to choose, with God. But maybe you're I probably would have took my chances with jumping. Me. I'm not going to count. Well, you're invited if to I had to choose, bro. No count. That old man look like he ready to bust some shit. <laughs> what? That's petty. That's petty. That's so petty. <laughs> this is funny because it's not happening. They said, bro, stop moving my shit. <laughs> stop it. Photos taken right before death, part two. Two friends posted the selfie on Facebook. Later that night, the girl on the left strangled her friend with the belt she is wearing in the photo. What? She claimed she had no memory of strangling her friend after a night of heavy drinking. A serial killer took this photo of his victim, Regina K. Walters, moments before her death. She was a 14-year-old girl who was killed by serial killer Robert Ben Rhodes. Oh, it is believed yeah. he murdered and raped over 50 women before being convicted. Oh, it is yeah. believed he kept Walters for several weeks before killing her in an abandoned barn. Therese Damn. Perry Wrinkle, 8 years old, is let out of Walmart by her murderer. She was shopping with her family in a dollar store when James Smith approached them and offered to buy them clothes. The family went with him to Walmart where he then offered to take Cherise to McDonald's to get a hamburger. But instead, That's abducted so and murdered her, her body was discovered shortly after. Shannon Nunes took this photo before jumping from a cliff. She was not trying to commit suicide. She jumped off and got caught in the cart. Photos taken right before death, part Stupid, three. Bro. Anne Faber sent the selfie to her boyfriend only a few minutes before being abducted and murdered. What? She was out on a bike ride by herself when she got caught in the rain. She sent a selfie to her boyfriend to show him, and her body was found two weeks later in the woods. What? A couple posted this photo at the Route 91 Harvest Musical Festival in Las Vegas, right before a gunman killed 58 people. Damn. The woman in the picture is known as Denise, and she died on the scene in the arms of her husband. Damn. The final photograph of Jolie Callan before her ex-boyfriend shot and killed her and then pushed her off a cliff. He turned himself in the same day and insisted that the two had a suicide pact that he was unable to complete after killing Jo Lee. Her family disagrees. He was sentenced to 52 years in prison. A stowaway falls yeah, from the wheel right, well of a plane that. in this photograph from the 1970s. A 14-year-old Australian boy was trying to stow away in the flight bound for Japan. He fell from the plane shortly after takeoff. My husband and I wow. have this house in 2018 and it's a new build so no way. It can be haunted, right? Wrong. I've always been in tune with spirit, but my husband hasn't, and he always thought I was crazy. Until we both started having this unsettling feeling in my son's nursery, especially near his closet. Mm -hmm. So my husband went to go check on my son, 
and I caught his soother moving in his crib. So I immediately called my medium and learned who the spirits were, their names, so I could address them by name. Mm -hmm. A few weeks later, I took a bath and there was a circle in the mirror with condensation on it with what appears to say hi. I literally almost shit my pants. But you were in the, in the bathtub. <laughs> How did you shit your pants in the bathtub? <laughs> and lastly, I was getting freaked out by my mirror in my room, so I sent a picture to my friend. She zoomed in to see a small handprint that wouldn't match anyone. There was five years between my older brother and I. One night, shortly after I was brought home, my brother was asleep in his room. He heard knocking and scraping around his closet. He woke, sat up in bed, and watched a man he described as the devil exit the closet. He walked to the foot of his bed, smiled, and said, I'll see you soon, kid, and oh, then returned shit. to the closet. My brother, rightfully terrified, went running into my parents' room and immediately told them what happened. For the next few nights, they let him sleep with them. Just a few nights later, the ceiling in his room collapsed, crushing his bed. What? <laughs> That's not scary. Video must be almost over. <laughs> I've seen that dog before. <laughs> that was a light ending. They're cool for that.